Today we have some exciting news. What new camera will be coming out? Will it be a photo kino? Will it be sooner? I don't know. No one does. So very, very recently, you may have heard, and obviously it's around Photokina, it's a big time for the photography industry, a lot of new cameras come out, gear and all that kind of stuff. But why am I holding my Nikon D700 right here? Because, first of all, I love it. Second of all, there will probably be a replacement. And that probably has basically been, basically been really confirmed as someone from Nikon leaked information uh, about this. It's been, uh, this camera, uh, what's this, since 2006, if not a little older, uh, so the Nikon D700 has been out a long time. It's basically one of their, it's a really, really good flagship uh, full frame camera that Nikon has always had. Um, one of the big complaints, but at the time it really wasn't around either, was that it didn't have video. But it, it's amazing in low light, uh, also because of its low megapixel, but high resolution quality. So we're, uh, you know, we were always thinking, what's coming next? Will the D700 been replaced? It's been a long time. When looking and in hearing rumors for the past couple years, you know, it's always been, oh great, you know, it's just going to be some other gimmicky type of thing. But it seems like things have been finalized and things are going to come out and this will be the Nikon uh, D750. Kind of weird in regards to the name because it's usually like a D700S or, or like a D710 uh, you know, type of thing. So it's the Nikon D750. Where that number will come from, I have no freaking idea. Um, but it's going to be kind of in the similar mark of what's already out there. The 24 megapixel range, it's going to be um, 24.3 megapixels. Once again, none of this is fully 100% confirmed, but this is basically confirmed in a way. Um, so, you know, you're going to see... Uh, you know what's coming out soon so in reading about it these were the rumor specs and these are things that I, I wish it didn't have this it's going to be tough and it's pricing itself in a difficult category in between the nikon uh, d610 now and the nikon um d810 so it's kind of in that range and also just a little more than i think that a lot of people would pay because the d700 right now you can get used for 1200 dollars and it is really top of the line in regards to low light capability so what do we have the 24.3 megapixel sensor um and they're gonna have a tilting lcd screen i hope that doesn't happen uh because i i just don't like that you don't really need that and if you're shooting photos like this over top of crowds and stuff like that it's probably not going to be a good shot anyway because you don't know the framing and the composition uh wi-fi support that's that's great that's fine a lot of people a lot of the consumers need it but if you're buying this camera you're not a consumer but you know i guess that would be a, an alternative to tethering you know type of thing so it's using the new xp the newer xp4 imaging processor and it's going to be a light body a lot of people had complaints with the d700 at the time and they still do saying it is heavy but i actually really like the heavy build especially having the grip attached uh it really gives me something firm and stable especially when i attach a long lens to this so i hope it's not that light to be honest with you because they're saying even here uh you know on slr lounge that it's going to be lighter than the nikon d610 which is a i have the d600 once again they're very similar um it's light and it fits well but if you get something lighter than that you might as well just hold a crop sensor camera so i'm not a huge fan of that uh and the price to me is going to be a big point as well um you know 2500 dollars a little high but once again if it produces like the d700 does in low light you know, it's not going to do as well because it is higher megapixels, basically double the megapixels, then you're going to see, um, you know, slightly, it's just going to be another thing on the market. One huge thing that I hope they improve on is, uh, you know, frames per second in regards to, um, you know, helping out with sports shooters and everything like that because the Nikon D400 isn't going to come and with that price that they'll charge you that, this is, you know, it costs a little more. But, you know, it's up to that range and someone might want more. So hopefully that this will do, you know, eight to nine frames a second type of thing. You know, something under obviously the D4, uh, the D4S, uh, you know, it'll do something in that range. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm happy that there's a replacement, but it's not the same. It's a completely different camera. Hence, it's going to be the Nikon D750. Once again, totally random name, but that's how it's going to be. Hopefully it has video and it will prop, I don't know. I will be very reluctant to think that it will include anything 4K wise. If anything, it would even drive the price up over $3,100 uh, type of thing. So, But I'm guessing it's just going to have the same tech in regards to, 
you know, it's going to be 1080p, 60 frames a second, shove it up a ding dong, all that kind of stuff. The same stuff you've heard in basically every camera now for the past, you know, year or two. So that's it. That's going to be the Nikon D750. And once again, and I, from what I hear as well, that most of these uh, stats right here, the specs are going to be correct. And I've kind of voiced my opinion on the other side, um, you know, saying some of the things I don't and do like, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a, uh, a CF card system. That's what it's looking like. I don't know. Um, I, I'm i excited for it. I don't think I would upgrade to something like this because I there's just uh, there's just stuff that I don't need. And once again, the weight factor is actually really huge for me. But what do you guys think? A lot of you Nikon shooters out there who own a D700 who are, um, you know, maybe looking to upgrade. You're between a Nikon D610 and an 810. What do you think? I think the 750 is going to be a very, very strong camera. But it's not going to differentiate itself, um, you know, 100%. And with the Wi-Fi support, though, what I'm interested in is, is that built in with uh, a lot of the new Canon cameras have, or is this going to be, once again, you need that WU or one whatever adapter that you plug into it. So it's not essentially the same. So we will find out in the near future very, very soon. Photokina is around the corner, and that's when the expected announce date is going to release. So Nikon D750, you're going to be welcome to the family, but are you really going to be something special? I don't know, and as a D700 user... I don't know. That's all I got. Eric Ross with the guy with the eye.